Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. So you might be wondering why I'm cleaning my teeth and I'm talking about aphids. Keep watching and I'll show you what I'm doing. So as you can see, I've got an aphid infestation in my greenhouse. I mean my plants outside have been fine because I've been using companion planting and I've been using the effect of smelly plants to deter aphids and pests away from my main crops. But in my greenhouse, I haven't got that luxury. And I've got these aphids that are starting to do some damage. And they've actually killed one of my aubergine plants right at the back. So what I've done is I've taken all the leaves off to, and I've stripped it right back. I've been spraying with soap spray, but it's not having the effect that I want. So I'm going to apply some neem oil today. And hopefully that'll help get rid of these aphids and get these aphids under control and bring give my plants a bit of a perk up. Now neem oil comes from the seeds of... Uh, the neem tree. That's why I had my toothbrush. The neem plant, the neem tree, it's been used in Middle Eastern and Indian medicines for centuries. It's also known as the toothbrush tree because we can take these twigs off the neem tree and use them as a really antibacterial toothbrush, a natural antibacterial. And neem oil has been used in cosmetics throughout the years and if, especially if you buy any Indian hair oils, um, you'll find neem oil as an active ingredient in that. But today we're going to use neem oil as an insecticide. The neem oil that I'm using is cold pressed neem oil. And now cold pressed neem oil contains the most amount of the active chemical that's going to be used to deter aphids and white flies and, uh, and treat other little diseases and bugs. It's going to contain the most amount of active ingredient, which is azadiractrin. I hope I've said that right. Anyway, you know me, I, I love recycling my bottles, so I've got a sprayer that I've that had some cleaning products in, and I'm just going to use that to mix my neem oil into. So for a bottle like this, I'm going to make a quite concentrated mix, and I'm going to use a cap full of neem oil into... It's probably about um, 500 millilitres of, of water, and I'm going to give that a good mix. We'll get the lid on, and I'll give it a good shake. So the way neem oil works is that it blocks the hormones for aphids and green fly and white fly and those kind of things to reproduce. And also the smell of the neem oil acts as a deterrent. It masks the natural f smell of the plants that they, the, these bugs want to eat. It doesn't exactly work like other insecticides where it kills the bug directly. What it does is it blocks the reproduction cycle. When the leaves of the plant are coated with this neem oil, when the plant, when the aphids or the bugs eat the leaves, then they become infected with this active chemical as a diractrin, and then they die because as a result. There's some studies that also suggest that it has hydrophobic effects, which is what you'd normally use soap spray for to dry the aphid out and to uh, kill it that way. It can also be used as something that kills mites, so it's good to use around the chicken chicken coop, and it's good to use around uh, your your livestock. But it's completely safe. Because it's not uh, insecticide as such, and it doesn't kill the bugs directly, it's safe to use around other insects. It's not gonna, if I, if I randomly spray, spray this whole greenhouse, it's not gonna kill the bees and the wasps and everything else that come into here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it quite generously. I'm gonna spray the top of the leaf, but as well as spraying the top of the leaf, I'm gonna get the un underside as well. And I'm going to do that with all of these plants in the greenhouse. Every single plant in this greenhouse, I'm going to spray it fully, top to bottom. So if the neem oil starts settling at the top, I'll give it another shake and get back to spraying. Now I'm going to just spray every single leaf, top and bottom. You can see some of the damage these aphids are doing to my plants. So hopefully they'll, they'll start to recover after this. I'll keep you posted on what the effects of the neem oil are doing. So you can see the damage that some of this, the aphids have done to some of these chili plants. They've, that's what's causing the curl on these plants, on these leaves. But quite luckily the new growth hasn't been affected straight away, right now. So it does take a bit of time to apply it to make sure that you're getting every single leaf top to bottom. So one issue that you might have is that the neem oil attach it, do you know, it, uh, because if you're using, co especially if you're using cold water, it attaches to the side of the bottle and solidifies. Now the way to get around that is to use warm water. 
So that's what I've got in this bucket behind me. I've got water that's warm enough that you can just put your hand in it. So I'm going to mix up another mat batch and I'm going to use my warm water this time to mix it. So you can see that it mixes a lot better when the water is a bit warmer. But you will have issues of, of uh, uh, oil clotting up, or solidifying, because remember, oil and water don't mix. So I'm going to continue spraying all of these plants. So I was talking to my mum about using, using neem oil. And I mean, I only know neem oil as an insecticide and as toothbrushes. But what she was explaining to me is that in Bangladesh, what they used to do is they used to make a cold and flu remedy using neem, you know, the leaves of the neem tree. So they'd take the, neems of the, le the leaves of the neem tree, they'd grind them up while they're still fresh and let it soak in the water for a day or two. And then they'd drink that and that would give them a real intolerance to cold and it'd be, it's a really good cold and flu remedy. So that's one of the good. That's the, one of the really amazing things about the neem tree is that it's so beneficial in terms of um, health and medicines and stuff like that. And it's just by having that conversation with one of you know one of the elders, I gained that knowledge. I mean, most of my gardening knowledge comes from my parents. So that's one of the really important ways of gaining knowledge is if you speak to people who are, who, who are experienced. While we were just filming this, my wife just told me another use of neem leaf is really good for, uh, do you know when kids get chicken pox? It's really good for boiling neem leaves if you boil them in water and then a child with chicken pox bathes, bathes with that um, neem leaf extract then it's really good for itchiness and healing the scars as well. So my wife just told me that so I learned something new while we're making this video. It's amazing where you get your knowledge from. So now that I've pretty much done the whole of my greenhouse, I'm going to leave it like that and I'll apply it. I'll do another application in about seven days. One of the things that you won't realise with using neem oil is an instant effect on aphids. You won't, because it's not an insecticide as such and it's not directly killing the aphids, it's stopping their breeding cycle and their rep reproduction. And what you won't see is the aphids vanish overnight. It's not killing. It's not going to kill the aphids straight away. One thing that I have to, what I do have to do, is I have to get rid of the cause. One of the causes of my aphid infestation, which is in my compost pile. I'll show you what I've got here. One of the reasons that I'm getting such a bad aphid infestation in this greenhouse is because of this ant's nest that's living in my compost pile. Now, no matter how much I water this, uh, I just can't get rid of the ants. You'll, you can see what the ants are looking like, and they've swarmed a few times from inside this greenhouse. Uh, they've taken, they've developed the wings, and they've flown off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my neem oil. I'm not going to spray it. I'm going to take my neem oil to mix, and I'm going to pour it over the surface of the compost pile. There's ants on the compost pile, yes buddy. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna make sure that the whole compost pile is soaked with uh, neem oil solution and hopefully that'll help control the ants as well or deter them and get them to move on. I hope you found that beneficial. Uh, a bit of background about neem oil and neem tree and how it can be used as a medicine. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for regular updates. Share this video out and I'll see you on the next one. As salam wa alaikum wa rahmatullah.